A dig towards the core of the Earth uncovers a lot of scientific secrets. Have you read the classic Jules Verne novel entitled Journey to the Center of the Earth? The science fiction novel definitely made our imaginations run wild. But have you ever wondered what really is in the center of the Earth? In a remote peninsula somewhere in Russia, a group of scientists has spent decades drilling down the ground to reach the center of the Earth. But after decades of hard work, the team made a discovery that forced them to stop digging deeper. The ambitious goal to dig towards the center of the Earth started with a competition between the USA and USSR to conquer the subterranean world. We all know the space race between the two nations to conquer outer space, but little is known about the other race to dig as far into the Earth's crust as they possibly could. You may think that dirt and rocks are not that compelling compared to the mystery of the cosmos, but the Earth's crust leads the way to the mantle, the mysterious inner layer that makes up 40% of Earth's mass. What could that 40% be made of? In 1957, the US team took the lead in the digging race as they started Project Mohole. The project's mission was to get a sample of the Earth's mantle by drilling to the bottom of the ocean in an area off Guadalupe Island, Mexico. The team of engineers were able to drill through the bed of the Pacific Ocean as they were able to reach a depth of 601 feet. Project Mohol was funded by the National Science Foundation. However, eight years into the project, the funding was cut off by the U.S. House of Representatives. Despite starting first, the Americans never got to the mantle. It took a while for the USSR team to start their project. In fact, it was not until May 24, 1970, that the Russians started drilling toward the center of the Earth. They started drilling in the Pechensky district, a low-populated area in the Kola Peninsula, Russia. The Russian team had a simple goal, to dig as far as possible into the Earth's crust. Of course, they aimed to go further than the 600 feet that the American team achieved. In fact, the goal was a minimum of 49,000 feet. The Russian team used specialist equipment in their project. Drilling was done using the Uralmash 4E, which was a serial drilling rig used to drill oil wells. The rig was modified a bit to be able to reach a depth of 7,000 meters. Throughout the project, the Soviet team developed instruments that would help them take direct physical measurements at the bottom of the borehole. Because of this, they had greater measurement integrity. In 1974, the team upgraded to the Euromash 15,000. While all of this is going on, the Americans had been doing some progress of their own as well. In 1974, the Lone Star Producing Company started drilling for oil in Washita County, Oklahoma. They never found oil, but they were able to dig the deepest hole existing on the planet at that moment. Their drill became the Bertha Rogers Hole, which is a man-made hole that reached over 31,000 feet below the surface of the Earth. Although no longer the deepest man-made hole in the world, it still remains to be the deepest man-made hole in America. On June 6, 1979, one of the boreholes created by the Russian team surpassed the depth of the Bertha Rogers Hole. The borehole was dubbed SG-3. By 1983, the SG-3 borehole had reached a depth of 39,000 feet below the surface. The hole had a width of 9 inches. This meant that the Russian team was only 10,000 feet shy of their minimum goal. They stopped drilling for 12 months so that different researchers could come to visit and see the site. When the Russian team resumed drilling a year later, they unexpectedly had a technical problem that forced them to stop drilling at borehole SG-3. Unfazed, the Russian team decided to start again with another borehole. This borehole had a depth of 23,000 feet. In 1989, the new borehole the Russian team focused on reached its goal. In fact, the drilling reached 40,230 feet deep. This was about 7.5 miles into the Earth's crust. This encouraged the team and made them believe they could reach 44,000 feet sometime in 1990. But things didn't go as well as the Russian team had hoped for. As they dug deeper, they had no idea they were about to come in contact with something unexpected. As their drill slowly inched closer to the Earth's center, a complete change occurred. The first change was that the temperature inside the borehole started to change. As they dug further, the heat started to shoot up faster. By the time they were nearing their target of 49,000 feet, the heat in the hole was already 180 degrees Celsius, that's 356 degrees Fahrenheit, to a full 80 degrees Celsius, 176 degrees Fahrenheit. The team didn't expect this much heat. 
The heat is not the only strange thing the Russian team noticed as they dug further into the borehole. The researchers found that the rocks at those depths were less dense, and because of this, the rocks reacted differently to higher temperatures. For instance, the rocks had an almost plastic-like texture. This strange texture eventually became a problem because it made it almost impossible to drill through the rocks. Not only that, but the heat and the rocks were too much for their machine. It was at this point that the Russian team started to think that their drilling toward the center of the Earth would soon be over. Their equipment wouldn't last long with the extreme heat and the plastic-like rocks. They tried to press on with the project until 1992, but they never got to go any deeper. They had no choice but to discontinue drilling. The drill site was officially shut down and the Kola Super Deep Borehole was sealed in 2005. Although the project was abandoned, it doesn't mean that the whole thing was a bust. The research team was able to gather some fascinating findings before they sealed up the borehole, which they dubbed the Kola Super Deep Borehole. The Kola Super Deep Borehole became a geological treasure trove of information. Although the Russian team failed to reach the mantle, they were able to dig the deepest hole known to mankind, and in their dig they were able to uncover a lot of information that made a huge difference to the science community. At four miles deep, the research team found tiny fossils of single-celled marine organisms, proving that there was biological activity in the rocks. It was something unexpected to have something living so deep beneath the surface. The fossils were in very good condition, given that they were encased several miles below the Earth's surface for a very long time. In fact, the fossils were estimated to be over 2 billion years old. The science community definitely found this as a win. The temperature map of the Earth's interior was updated thanks to the findings from the Kola Superdeep Borehole. Now geologists have more realistic data to rely on when it comes to the Earth's temperature. The temperature encountered during the drill turned out to be much higher than what was expected. It was a huge change in the field of geology, proving that we can still learn so much more over the years. And that's all thanks to the Russian team. The Russian project produced a lot of geological data that expanded what we know about the Earth. The Kola Super Deep Borehole gave a direct look at the structure of the crust and was able to confirm and debunk a lot of theories in geology. One of these theories is the Conrad discontinuity, which predicted that there was a transition from granite to basalt three to six kilometers beneath the surface. The Kola Super Deep Borehole findings would debunk this theory. The Conrad discontinuity theory was created by measuring seismic waves. For a while, this was how science pictured the Earth's crust, having layers from granite to basalt rocks. But the Kola Super Deep Borehole showed that this was not the case. Researchers found that there was only granite at the furthest reaches of the borehole. This meant that the changes in the seismic waves were caused by the metamorphic differences in the rock, not a shift to basalt. But the most fascinating find from the Kola Superdeep borehole was when they ran into flowing water several miles deep beneath the surface. For that, nobody would have thought that liquid water could exist so deep beneath the surface. This showed that the crust of the Earth was not as dense as what was once predicted. Pathways existed that allowed fluids to flow. The research team believed that the flowing water is the result of a strong pressure that forced the hydrogen and oxygen atoms out of the rocks. Coincidentally, the closure of the Kola Superdeep borehole also happened during the fall of the Soviet Union. Today, the site is abandoned and marked as an environmental hazard. This didn't stop curious visitors from coming by and checking it out, though. It seems hard to believe that an abandoned drill site that had rotting wood and scrap metal scattered all over the area sits in the deepest hole in the planet. Although the Kola Superdeep borehole is welded shut, it still remains a fascinating find. To this day, nobody has beaten the record of the Russian team. For perspective, the borehole's depth is the height of Mount Everest and Mount Fiji on top of one another. The Kola Superdeep Borehole remains to be the deepest man-made hole on the planet. Was the project at least able to reach the center of the Earth? Although the Kola Superdeep Borehole is quite an impressive feat, it's still shallow if you compare it to the Earth's depth. The truth is that the borehole was only able to penetrate about a third of the Earth's crust and 0.2% of the entire distance toward the core of the planet. Other attempts were made to reach the Earth's core by other countries, including Germany, Sweden, and Austria. 
but none of these projects were able to go deeper than the Kola super deep borehole. Some were longer because they veered off from a vertical course, but they do not go deeper. There's still definitely a long way to go when it comes to humanity's journey toward the center of the Earth. Who knows what we'll find in the mantle someday? Looks like we'll have to wait.